Welcome back to the shop. Today on the bench, uh, we got this Rawlings Pro Preferred. Uh, this is a local guy. I actually play, uh, I have played league with him, Mr. Lucas. Um, I've never seen one like this. I've seen lots of gloves. Uh, again, this is Pro Preferred uh, R2G, model number Pro S130SB-15. Really nice looking glove. Let's take a look at this. Have you ever seen one like this before? I believe this is custom, totally custom. So he gave it to me and uh, he's been working and you can see we got some dirt in the pocket. He's been working with this and he's like, hey man, he says, uh, can you uh, put it on the bench, you know, clean her up, it's still a little tight for him. Um, I said, absolutely. So what we're gonna do, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna clean him up. We got some warm water with palm oil dish soap and then some wool light and a spray bottle. We're gonna clean all the dirt out of here. You never want to bang dirt into a glove when you're working on it. That's really bad for leather. Uh, and then we're going to go around and we're going to do some hot water. And maybe just one round with the mallets. I think he's going to be good to go. Again, we just want to loosen him up a little bit. You know, he's got uh, a little stiff in the palm. I can still feel it a little bit. But he's been working it, so he's close. So this is not going to be a, a big, long process. So we're just going to camera. Oh, and then we're going to condition with Maven Glove Bomb, of course. Nothing but the best. Okay, uh, I'm going to spin the camera around. Get to cleaning. Okay, we want to be, this is at 114, that's about right. Okay, I'm gonna say round one is done with Lucas's glove. We're gonna put a block in here. We're gonna let him sit for a couple hours. We're gonna come back, take a look, and see if we need to do a round two and or three. Okay, let's pull a block out of this one. Okay. Yeah, snapping pretty good there. Yep, feels pretty good. How are we looking? Nice dual hinge. We still gotta push this back a little bit. You can tell he's super strong with his fingers. He's kind of pushing his fingers through uh, the leather. So, so we can't get that back in there for him. Actually, maybe it feels like the glue's loose or something. Push that back. But uh, yeah, I think we're close. Let's uh, continue some more mallet time, some time with the ball, and uh, we'll go from there.
Okay, that's gonna do it for this one. Again, we got a really nice pinky thumb slap. We're snapping real good. Okay, I think we're good. All right, this one's done. We're gonna throw some conditioner on here. Maybe glove balm. Okay, we completed another one. Let's take a look at this Rawlings. Again, this is a, I've never seen one like this. Let me know if you've seen one like this before. Full custom, looks fantastic. 13 inch slow pitch glove, lots of details on there. So what we did, again, we created a nice dual hinge for him. We pushed that pocket way back, gave him a bath, got all the dirt out of there. It's kind of dirty, kind of banged up. Um, overall, I just kind of reshaped it. Didn't spend a whole lot of time on this one. I knew it wouldn't take much. But yeah, how we measure it, we got a good pinky to thumb slap there. And then we're snapping really nice. So um, this guy's a pretty good outfielder. So this, this glove will make him even better. I guarantee it. Okay, that's, uh, that's going to do it for now. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You want to get your glove on the bench? Visit mavengloveBomb.com, go to the services section, go to the bottom of the page, click on service request form, complete that. Once you submit, you'll get an appointment date, an appointment number, um, as, long as, as, long, as well as shipping information to get the glove to us. Um, as soon as we get your glove, we'll get on the bench, we'll shoot a video, we'll get it back to you, we'll be back on the field in no time. That's going to do it for now, folks. Appreciate you sticking around the very end. We'll see you next time.